In the diagram below, quartz PQ and RS of circle O intersect at T. Which relationship must always be true? So whenever you have intersecting chords, a couple of things happen. Uh, and really this question is asking whether or not you remember the circle theorems. The length of the chords, let's call this chord here A1 and A2. I mean, chord A is partitioned into two parts there, A1 and A2. And then chord uh, B is partitioned into two other segments. Let's call that B1 and B2. The partitions, the products of the partitions of one chord, as it turns out, is going to equal to the partitions of the second chord. So this is involving the lengths of the chords. Uh, there's also something true about the angles that are formed. So the angles that are formed between the two intersecting chords is that, let's say if I call this angle, this arc here, um, B, and this arc here, C, and this is angle A, the relationship between the um, the angle formed between the two chords and the intercepted arc as it turns out, angle A is equal to the average of the two intercepted arcs. And this is always going to be true no matter what the um, no matter what happens with the circle, whether uh, the chords intersect the center of the circle or not, or is on one side of the center of the circle or the other. Anyway, let's take a look at the answer choices. Which relationship must always be true? RT and TQ. RT equals to TQ. Does that have to be true? Uh, they do not have to be equal, no. RT equal to TS. They don't have to be equal either. RT plus uh, TS. RT plus TS is equal to PT plus TQ. That is not true either. RT times TS is equal to PT times TQ. That is absolutely true. That's option four. And that is this theorem that I just talked about uh, in the beginning of the video.